Okay, I'm going to do four review problems quick. Solve the inequality. You're finding the possible values of x. There's only one inequality, so I just solve it here. We got times negative 2 plus negative 4. You need to mark your operations if you have multiplication or division. Circle it. Okay. So we have to add the 4, which doesn't change the sign. When I divide, it's going to be by negative, so the sign will flip. So I add 4, and that's negative 12. And then I divide by negative 2, and I have 6. Okay. 0, 6, circle, don't fill it, don't, it's open. That is a less than sign, that's on the board, so it goes this way. So then you just label it x less than 6. Okay, the, this is nothing here. Okay, now you got f. So I distribute 5 to 3f and 3 to 3. The sign doesn't flip when you distribute. So it's going to be 15f plus 9. Now I have like terms of the variable on opposite sides. Well, they're the same, so that allows me to cross them out. And this becomes all solutions or no solutions. And I don't need, I can't, I don't use a number line. So I have a 9 and a 9. Well, they, they, they are equal, and the line's not there. So that is no solution. So that's a false statement. So telling somebody 9 is greater than 9. Okay, now we did these a couple days ago. Now they are compound inequalities. So you see two symbols. So you're going to want to make, you still need to graph it. So you're going to make a table right below it. And of course, on one side, we've dropped the less than or equal, less than or equal. So we have negative 1 and then x minus 3. And then you have the x minus 3 repeated on this side with 2. Now you solve each one separately. So mark your operations on the x side. You have to add the 3. The sign won't change for now. Now, the problem is x, x is behind the symbol. You need to reorder this side. So you have x, 2, greater than or equal to. Don't graph that until you solve the other side. You have to add the 3. So plus 3, plus 3, and x is less than or equal to 5. You don't reorder that because I have the x before the symbol, which is exactly what I want before the inequality. So I go 2 and I go 5. Both the circles are closed and then you just have to go with the flow. Greater than 2, less than 5. So how should you be labeling that? Well you should put x in the middle with a 2 with a 5. Now if you are confused about what signs to put on that, on the label, look over here. Between x and 2, it's eating the x. Well, it needs to eat the x up here, okay, with the equal sign. x and 5, well, it's eating the 5, so it should eat the 5 here, okay? So whatever it's eating here between them, it's got it. That's why it's always both less than, okay, or equal to. Okay, next problem, 2x less than or equal to negative 4, or 7x is greater than or equal to 49. Okay, so you make your table again, but they're already separated for you. So over here you got x with a times 2. You're going to divide, but it's by a positive, so we won't flip the sign. I don't care if that's a negative. It's the number I'm dividing by. So you have x, negative 2. Don't reorder that. You want the x before the symbol. Okay. Dividing by 7, so it won't change. And I have x in front of the symbol, that's good. And then 7, so we have negative 2 and 7. Both the circles are closed. And look at what you have. You have less than negative 2. You have greater than 7. Now to label that, you write or, and then you just pretty much write what you have x is less than or equal to negative 2. You don't have to put the, you don't put the x between because it's not going in between. 
that, and this, okay? It's when they go in between where you put the X in the middle with the double less in, okay? If you're confused about why those are double less in, look, it should eat the same thing there that it does here. Okay, now the new stuff. You're going to need your number line for an illustration. You're not going to use it on every problem, but... Solve and graph each inequality. Now we have an absolute value in the inequality. So you're going to make that table just like I showed you before. Okay. Within the absolute value, you just have the x. Now don't you're not going to go equals. Now don't put the symbol either just yet. Okay. Don't do that. So replace your absolute value with d. So you have d less than 5. Now you're like, so I'd go less than 5 and less than negative 5. Yeah, you're going to be 5 and negative 5, but here's the deal, okay? Put your 5 and negative 5, because you could be at 5 to have your d values 5. But the sign has to flip on the negative, and here's why. This is a less than sign, okay? So we know that that could be 5 or negative 5. Now, the distance being less than 5, mean, it means we move in towards the 0 from both sides. So, yeah, I'm going towards 0. I'm going less than there. But I'm also moving in towards 0 from here. Well, that direction is greater than, okay? So, you use the same symbol on the 5, but you flip it on the negative. Now, solve for, now you just have to, you need, do need to graph these. So you have 5 and negative 5. Both circles are open. You are less than 5, less than this way, greater than negative 5. So that's in between. Then if it's in between, I label it correctly with the x with the minimum here and the maximum 5 there. Now, they're both double less than signs because x and 5, it eats the 5. It's got to eat the 5 down here x and negative 5, it eats the x, so it has to eat the x right there. That's why they're both double less than, okay? Okay, next problem. So, if I see absolute value, I know I'm going to make that table. Within the absolute value, you just have x. Now, take your absolute value out, please, and replace it with d. So, d greater than or equal to 2. So we know we're going to use 2 and negative 2 over here. Okay. <clears throat> now it's greater than. So we talk 2, we talk negative 2. Now this is a greater than sign. That means it's moving away from the 0. The distance between the number and 0 is getting bigger, which means you travel away if you want the distance to grow. So that way from the 2, yeah, that's greater than. Okay. But again, the distance has to grow, so to get away from the zero, instead of moving towards it, you go this way. Well, that's less than, okay? Basically, to make a long story short, okay, you flip the sign on the negative. So you have greater than or equal to 2, but less than or equal to negative 2. And then those are both solved, you just need to graph them. You close both your circles because it says equals 2. So let's talk about our 2. 2 is right here. It says greater than 2. Well, that's this way. That's a less than on the negative 2. Okay. Now, now they don't go between, so it's or, and I just basically copy those answers above each graph. Once again, when they come together, you need the double less than. Nothing else. It's always that way. But the or, you just label them separately with what you got. Okay. Cross out the next one, please. Okay. We're going to speed this up a little bit now that I've explained it. Now within the absolute value, you have x minus 2. Okay. Now replace that with d. So d... This whole thing's replaced, less than or equal to 1. So the d value is 1. So that can be 1 or negative 1. We use the given inequality on the 1, but then we flip it on the negative. Okay. 
Now you solve it, you have to solve for the x now. So on the x side, it's not by itself. You have a plus negative 2, so you add 2, which won't change the sign. So plus 2, plus 2, 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay, then sign's not going to change. Plus 2, plus 2, negative 1 plus 2 is 1. Okay, now graph them. So you have 3 and 1. Both circles are closed. Now what do you have? You have less than 3, greater than 1. Oh, they came together again. So we put x, 1. Don't put two x's if they come together. Okay. All right. And the sign less than, less than. Again, look at the x and the 3. It eats the 3, so it should eat the 3 here. x and 1, it eats the x, so it has to continue to eat the x down there. Okay. So if you lose sight of how you, what signs you should put, just look at what they eat up there. they got to eat the same thing down there. Okay, I'm not going to do the next one. Cross it off. Now we have the absolute value of 3x plus 1 greater than 8. So inside of the absolute value, we have the expression 3x plus 1. And then you replace your absolute value with d, just like in the last lesson. So d greater than 8. So we have the d value. d is by itself. It's 8. So I put greater than 8, but then I put less than negative 8. You always are going to flip it on the negative, and I showed why here. Because if you have a less than, it moves towards 0 from the positive. That's less than, but it also moves towards 0 from the negative. Well, that going that way is greater than. Now, a distance of a greater with a greater than means you'd move away from the 0. Okay, The distance grows between the number and 0. So growing moves away from the 0. And yeah, that's greater than, but if I'm moving away from the 0 and the negative, that's less than. So you just have to remember you flip the sign on the negative side. Okay, I have to get x by itself. So it's got a times 3 of plus 1. We don't change the sign when we minus, and we're not changing it when we're dividing by a positive. Okay, minus 1, minus 1, that's 7. Then divide by your 3. You're going to get a decimal here, and you're going to need a second PRB it. Second PRB, two and one third. And over here is the same thing. Okay, and these are ending up in the correct order with the x coming before the inequality. So minus won't change it, divide won't change it. So minus one, minus one. That's going to be negative nine. Divide by three, divide by three, and you get negative three. So two and one third, negative three. Okay, greater than two and one third, less than negative three. So that's an or. They don't come together. They go apart. So on the ors, you just basically label them like they are up there. Cross out the next problem, please. And then we're going to go to this one. Now, within the absolute value, we have the expression x plus 2. So you bring that over, and then you need to replace your absolute value with d. And mark the operations outside. So you have negative 3, that's a times, times d plus 4 greater than negative 14. So I got negative 3 times this whole thing turns into d. After the d, I got plus 4, and then I have the greater than sign, negative 14. Now, we have to find our d value. See, we have to get d by itself. So it's got a times and a plus. So when you minus, the sign doesn't flip. Those same rules apply when you're solving for d. And when you divide, we'll be dividing by a negative, so it will flip. Okay? So, minus 4, minus 4, that's negative 18. And when I divide, I'll be dividing by a negative. So d is less than 6. So I put 6, negative 6. I put the less than, but then I flip it on the negative side. Okay, so you just got a minus 2. 
There's no times or division here. X is less than 4. Minus 2 minus 2. X greater than negative 8. Okay, so you plot them on the graph. 4 and negative 8. Less than 4. Greater than negative 8. So they come together. You've got to label that correctly. Both less than. Double less than. If that confuse you, just look up here. X and 4, it eats 4. It's eating 4. Okay. Well, I don't know why I'm putting equals. They're not equal. Just, they're not closed. I'm sorry. X and negative 8 is eating the X. Well, it has to eat the X there, too, in that. Okay. Okay, you have five problems to do here. Okay. First four D's by itself, then you have number five. Remember that's three times D minus five is greater than 16. Okay.